think the prison must be somewhere over there. That's right. It's marked on the map. Think of all those desperate men locked up there for years and years. Hey, where's Timmy? Timmy! Where's he got to? He's just vanished. Gone after rabbits, I bet. Well, we'd have seen him running. Timmy! Listen, I can hear him. That's him. Oh, he's here. Stuck in a rabbit hole. Come on, Timmy. That's it. That's it. Come on. Silly boy, Timmy. Rabbit holes are for rabbits. He's hurt himself. He has. Here's his leg. He hasn't broken it, has he? I don't think so. Oh, they'll have to see a vet. Excuse me. Is there a vet in the village? Oh, afraid not. Too small for that. Nearest is ten mile away. Tell you what, though. You go down that road there, you'll see Spiggy Riding School on your left. And Mr Gaston runs it. He used to be a vet before he retired. So you're in luck, aren't you? Thank you very much. Hiking, are you? Yes, just for the weekend. We're staying up at Blue Pond Farm tonight. Oh, you'll be comfortable there. Best bed and breakfast there is round here. Now you go past church, turn left out the village, and up the hill till the road forks. Right. No, left. No, I mean right, I've got it. Oh. Thank you for your help. Oh, good luck with your dog. There's no need for us all to go to Mr Gaston's. You take Anne to Blue Pond Farm and tell them we'll be arriving shortly. OK, then. Come on, Julian. I think we've gone wrong. No, we haven't. But we've been walking for hours. It always seems longer when you're looking for somewhere. Well, stop being such a misery. What's that? It's bells. Why are they ringing? How should I know? They sound kind of eerie. Oh. I wish they'd stop. Come on, let's get out of the rain. Must be in there expecting us. These bells have stopped ringing. We're sorry we're a bit left. Clear off. But we've come all of. Did you hear what I said, boy? Clear off. Charming. This isn't Blue Pond Farm, is it? It can't be. Then no, we're lost, aren't we? Yes, it looks like it. We must have gone wrong somewhere. But what are we going to do? It'll be dark soon. We've got to get out of the rain. Come on. Are we trespassing? No. We're just sheltering. Who's that horrible man finds us in here? He's not going to. Look, we can make our beds in that loft or behind those bales of straw. We'll be completely hidden. A wink, or oh, I bet you will. Julian and George must be wondering where we are. We'll find Blue Pond Farm first thing in the morning. It can't be that far. Mm. It's quite warm in this straw, isn't it? Just go to sleep. Dick, are you in 
here. Dick! What? I've got a message from Layla. Hangman's Holt, Dark Water, Saucy Jane. He says, Maggie knows. He said to leave this for you. Maggie's got hers already. Hangman's out, dark water, saucy Jane. I'm off! Of course, he wasn't calling me. Who was he calling then? The man he told us to clear off. How do you know? Well, he came into the barn after the other man had gone. He was obviously waiting for someone. I'm glad I was asleep. I'm so sure that message was meant for him. What message? Well, the message the other man left. You spoke to him. Well, I muttered something. I was half asleep. I can't even remember whether I was dreaming or not. What was the message? Darkwater, a hangman's halt, a saucy Jane. And Maggie knows all about it. You definitely were dreaming. No, I wasn't. Look. Excuse me. Do you know the way to Blue Pond Farm, please? You're nearly there. It's about two miles down the road. Thank you. after a brute of a man slammed the door in our faces. Slammed the door? What did he look like? Well, he was badly in need of a cake of soap. <sighs> Sounds like dirty Dick Tarrant. Oh, you were unlucky landing up at his place. He's a nasty piece of work. Everybody keeps well clear of him. Well, I wish we had. Well, anyway, you're here now, and that's all that matters. Bacon and eggs, mushrooms and grilled tomatoes. Oh, yes, yes, please. please. <laughs> Right as rain, thanks to Mr Gaston. Good. He dislocated his shoulder. Mr Gaston put it back in seconds. Timmy yelped a bit, didn't you, boy? Did you hear the bells? Yes. Why were they ringing? A convict escaped from the prison yesterday. Mrs Baker told us they ring the bells to warn everyone. That's why we were so worried about you. A convict? I wonder if... What? Just to keep you going. Thank you. 
Mrs. Baker? Mm -hmm. uh, the convict that escaped. Oh, he was recaptured early this morning. It was on the news. I wonder if it was the man in the barn. What man? What barn? Hangman's Hold, Dark Water and Saucy Jane. What about that note? You know, with the funny lines on it. Something about a stone. Saucy Jane sounds like a boat. And you say he said Maggie knows? Yes, but who's Maggie? Could be a friend of Dirty Dick's. And who's Naylor? Because the message came from him, didn't it? Yes. Look, if the man in the barn was the escaped convict, then it's pretty likely that Naylor's a convict as well. What you mean is he got out to give Dirty Dick the message? It's possible. I've done you some packed lunches. Will you be staying tonight? Hmm? Yes, please, if we can. But we still don't know what Hangman's Holt and Dark Water means. You're not going there, are you? Or is it a place? Yes, not far from here. It was supposed to be a great house being built by Sir Granville for his new bride. How lovely. Lovely? She never turned up at the church, and the next day they found his lordship. Well... <laughs> Hangman's Holt. It was never finished, and now... It's just a shell. There's a lake in the woods, not far from the house. They call it Dark Water. You be careful if you're going there. They say the house is haunted. not. It just looks haunted. Come on, let's go and explore inside. been here all right. Maybe it was Maggie. Perhaps. Let's see what we've got. Naylor sends a letter about this place to Dirty Dick. Why did he send it? And what's it all about? Well, if Naylor's in prison as we think he is, it could be about some sort of crime. A robbery, maybe. Yes. And maybe that's why Naylor is in prison. Maybe he was caught after he'd taken the stuff and hidden it here. Oh, that's it. He couldn't write to tell anybody where it was because all of his letters were read before they left the prison. So, he waits until someone's going to escape and gets them to take a message. A message only Dirty Dick would understand. Except he never got it. No, I did. But don't forget, Maggie knows already. If she knows, she must be part of the gang. She's probably got one of these too. Can I have another look at it? Let me. Tall stone, dead tree, top of tower. But what does it mean? It must be some sort of clue to where the stuff's hidden. Dark water's further down the valley. How do you know that? Because it's marked on the map. Listen.
What are you doing here? We're hiking. This is private property. We were told we could come here. Oh, were you? Where's the sign to say it's private, then? You cheeky little... Dick, now you listen to me. This place is dangerous. People have drowned in the lake and the house is not safe. Well, then why are you here? If it's so dangerous, why weren't we warned about it? Well, I'm warning you now. Got it? <coughs> you keep hold of that dog. He looks savage. <coughs> well, he can be savage, all right. Take my advice and clear off. We don't want any accidents, do we? Come on. Just our luck. Horrible little beggars. Now we've got to wait for them to move on. Why? Why? Because they're going to wonder what we're up to, that's why. Because one of them's got a pair of binoculars and because they're the sort of nasty knowles that could put two and two together and make five. But two and two don't make five, Maggie. Oh, I sometimes wonder why Naylor hired you. I suppose with the dog they do, though. Do what? Make five. Dick. What? Shut up. must be Maggie. It all seems to fit our little theory, doesn't it? They've come for the loot. If we find it first, we can take it to the police. It must be hidden in the house. Right. Let's search for it. Wait a moment. What about Saucy Jane? What about her? Why was she in the message? Well, if she is a boat, that would explain dark water. But if the loot's hidden in the boat, anyone could find it. Not if it's at the bottom of the lake, they won't. What? Why should it be? Look, suppose Naylor comes here with the stolen goods. He goes into the middle of the lake in Saucy Jane and sinks it. And then he swims ashore. And then maybe in a couple of days the police pick him up. That's a bit far-fetched, Dick. You're only guessing what might have happened. We're only guessing about all of this anyway. I think it's a jolly good guess. So do I. Well, I don't. At least let's go down to the lake and see what we can find. Come on, Julian. All right. I'll get the rucksacks. I still think we're wasting our time. Look, it's an old punt. Perfect. I don't think we should. Oh, it'll be quite all right. Come on, Julia. see all three landmarks. Tall stone, dead tree, and the tower. That spot must be where the loot's hidden. In Saucy Jane. Perhaps. So I was right then. It's possible. And? Oh, all right. If it is, I apologise. Apology accepted. Come on. We've lost the tower. You have to go towards the edge. That way. This can't be right. It is, it is. Look, they're in the works. The tall stone. That's all three. We've done it. Where's the boat? There it is, under that tree. Saucy Jane. It's not at the bottom of the lake. What, 
Sonny Jim. George! Come on, George. Come on, George, hurry! Get him, Dick. Get that little devil. Jump on, quick, quick! Get him! Don't let him get away! Get him! Are you that? I don't think we have to worry about them. Push! Push, you great nana! Push! Push! I'm pushing. Mm -hmm. 